now, there's two things I was thinking of for the turkey, because I wanted the turkey, it won't be Thanksgiving. Dollar Tree had this really cool little turkey you can make, and I think, you know, with the glitter paper and everything, I'm going to make this, but it wasn't ideal what I wanted, but let's see, this is going to be fine. Nothing with glue won't fix. <laughs> so instructions. Guess not. Tape. Let's see. I guess the instructions is the picture. <laughs> Sign. I did have this really cool turkey, but I just I don't like it. So flimsy. Uh Oh, say lovey. The turkey that I wanted to do, <laughs> I'm gonna take the leftovers that I didn't use for the centerpiece. Remember I made these? Well, what I'm gonna do, this is, I'm gonna take the stick off. I might, I might not, this way it'll stick in. I'm gonna leave this, this stick. But this is gonna be the body. This is gonna be the head. And then a turkey has that long skin piece. I'm going to use some pieces. Probably this one from the potpourri. The little pieces for the neck. And the feathers, I have some leftover leaves I didn't use. So I'll probably use those. Again, I'm just going to clip off a little bit of the stick. Kind of sideways so it's pointy. And then I'm going to use that for the feathers. And then I've got a really cool thing I'm going to show you too. But I'm also going to show you how you take wrapping paper that's for, for mailing. And I cut it. I, I did it sideways. And I cut it. Kind of give it a feather kind of look. It doesn't have to be perfect. That might not be what shape of feather is to you. And then you have two pieces that are the same. Now take a little skewer. This was left over from another project. That's why they're so super cute then. And I'm going to show you how I glue it on and do the feather. All right? And what I'm going to do, I think I'll take the pointy end. Right here. I'll go down the middle where the crease is. And I put the stick on there, high as you can go. But so, put glue on the top of the stick, put the other piece of paper on it and try to line it, and then do your crease around the stick with your fingers. Isn't that super cool? Isn't that awesome? I mean, look at that. I don't know if you can see. I need to fix the lighting in my studio. I had lights, some lighting go out. Okay, now you can leave it like that. It looks, you know, really cool, which I'm going to leave some like that. This, you can give it, I'm going to trim this up just a little bit. So it didn't quite match. over there or you can give it like this frail edge see it's two pieces so you can have fun making it kind of dimensional that's what I like about these is you can make it kind of dimensional look and say thick and that's what you do with these so you just take your scissors and you just cut it at a diagonal close as you can and you don't have to worry about cutting on it because the stick will stop you so I cut it to the stick like that, as you can see. And there you have it. So those 
are my homemade fe feathers, my homemade feathers. And these were left over where I had an arrangement. I'm going to start with these as the base for the tail. And I have two of the big ones, so I wanted to put the lighter colored leaves on the side like that. So I want to fan it like a turkey. Say like that. Let's see how we're gonna something like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these. Short as they need to go, kind of at an angle, so to go in and put that starting at the tail. Might have to take a skewer stick, the tip of the skewer stick, and put a hole. Let's see, that one didn't work that much, doll. There we go. Put that one in. that a good and I'm gonna glue it to make it extra secure here that'll work I'm gonna do another one I'm gonna sit this up right here <clears throat> see that one to be in the center here Okay. Stay, Mr. Glue. Not over there, so I don't have to use it. There we go. Put the next one in. Ah, that's nice. It almost looks like a reindeer. <laughs> Give it some wacky eyes. Okay. Clip this one. And these are bendable. They got wire back, so you can bend it any shape you want to go with the feathers. We're just waiting for this glue to dry. Go ahead and put the back ones on. have a nice base for the back feathers for the turkey. All right. Now, I love these leftover leaves. I only use a couple of them. So, 
I'm going to see what I can use those for afterwards. Okay. Now to put the really cool feathers. Let's see, I've got, let's see, five, six of these, and I've got seven of those. So I'm going to put the really cool ones that are with the, the edges frayed like that. I'm going to put those in. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of these, save them for another project. Now I want to do the finish off the turkey's body and I love these white pine cones and I had an idea to give this a little more color to be the more like the turkey feathers. So, and I got this from the Dollar Tree. Which I got most of this from the Dollar Tree. See how it's got these little balls in it? I'm gonna need a ball. <laughs> Again, I'm a pat rat. Yeah, I know. There's another one. That's what I was after. This cool guy. Oh wow, this smells, it smells so good. third one. Uh, you guys are going to be used later. I'm back. <laughs> so you got these three really cool guys that look like pine cones. Oh my god, they smell good. And I'm going to put them on, three of them, glue them on. I don't think I can put a stick but you know, it is what it is. Being dangerous here. Don't do that. <laughs> you can slip and stab yourself in the stomach. I'm a nut and I have the scars from the stitches to prove it. Okay, find some with sharp ends. Here's one, here's one. All right, those have got points on them and I don't need them super long, so I'm gonna cut it and just save them for another time. 
Probably about like that much. Yeah, I think so. My goodness, it smells so good. It smells like, um, I don't know, like cinnamon, but it has other spices in it, like nutmeg. This must be a pumpkin one, which is <laughs> good because we're doing that. All right, I'm going to put glue in the hole I made with the scissors, put the stick in, and let it dry. Really good. Do it again. Let it dry. And what I'm going to do is put these on, and in the middle of each one, I wanted to grab a couple of these leaves, and I might use one for the face and roll it. Let's see. But anyway, make three different ones with different colors. Three little piles. That's what I do, what I do. You're missing one. There you go. I don't know if I'm going to use I might. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the green ones. They're cool, but I want killer. And I'm going to put another yellow on there. Let's see if I... These. And, again, more yellow. These are actually really yellow. There we go. Three piles. And what I'm going to do, grab the edges. You might want to glue it, but I'm just putting it together to show you what I'm doing. And I'm trying to do like orange, yellow, orange, yellow. But you do it like you're doing a deck of cards. Can you see that? Like you're doing a deck of cards. <laughs> What do I have in my hand? And I'm going to put that in between each one to kind of give it a little something color and make it a little extra. So I think this is dry enough now. I'm going to put the largest one in the middle here. I might go ahead and make a hole ahead of time. What did I do with that skewer stick? Let's see. I'm going to do it. It's got to remember it's bulky and round. So you make sure you give yourself enough room center here right there like that the middle glue put this one on let's see if I put enough glue for it to sit on ha! haven't figured out how I'm gonna do the face yet I was thinking of using like a leaf for the beak, just the tip, and then a red one here. Put it hang down. We'll see. We'll put to leave those two out, and then the feet. I was going to do a couple yellow leaves for the feet, so I'll put those right there. So now, what I think I'm going to do, you. Yeah. Let's put the rest of these leaves up real quick while I'm waiting for that to dry. <laughs> okay, let's put the others on. Let's see, put it, want it kind of close. All right. There.
double it like that. Let's see how I wanted to get that on there. Something like that. Okay, so we'll do these others real quick. First one on there. I think I'll put it in the middle. That's fancy. <laughs> I love it. Now to make that look like a turkey, I wanted to do the feet real quick. I'm gonna do the feet right there. Just have it quite figured out how I wanted it. Let's see, I'm gonna get some wire here. And the feet. <laughs> now for the beak, I might use a petal from the flower, I'm not sure. This is like, I'm all winging it here. So, I like that. Glue that on. Chicka, chicka. Okay. And I wanted to do the bread piece hanging down. There we go. Oh, that's going to look cool. It's going to glue it to go down it All right there. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole tip, but I'm going to put glue there. Gobble, gobble. Let's see if I can do the other end. Mm. 
glue them together here. Well, I like that. <laughs> Trim this part off so it's almost matching. Now it needs eyeballs and I have a package of eyeballs from the Dollar Tree. Let's see. No big ones. That would be too finny. I'll do the tiny ones. I think those are good. I think that's a good one. Put the rest up. They got even smaller than that, but I like them a little big. Give it a little bit of character. And there we have it. Out of the leftovers when we made this beauty. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, cleaned up my area. Now it's time to place the cool looking turkey. really well and I had fun doing this turkey I simply just moved a few things around again changed the sign out happy Thanksgiving made the turkey with the leftover pieces and I put it where I had the scarecrows and I put the scarecrows in the back kind of hide the sign I thought that looked really cute and the fun thing about this is I'm gonna donate this I'm going to donate it to a local assistant living home for their Thanksgiving holiday. And happy Thanksgiving! Bye! <laughs> See you at the next video! Christmas!